you just found out all the benefits of Bikram Yoga and you're thinking about coming but you hurt your back or you have back pain. And now it's the holidays and you are wondering if this is gonna be a good practice for you. So today, we're gonna to answer that question. So the health of our spine is often overlooked until there is some type of injury. So today we have brought in chiropractor and fellow Bikram Yoga practitioner to talk to us a little bit about what the spine's function is in the body, how the spine loses functionality over time, either because of lack of use or because of aging, and how we can use the practice of Bikram Yoga and the 26 postures we do every day in class to help maintain a happy, healthy spine. All right, so let's check it out. All right, right on. Dr. King, thanks for joining All us right. today on the channel. Yeah, thank you for having me. Appreciate yeah, absolutely, it. Absolutely, man, great. Yeah. Uh, so first, why don't you go ahead and tell us a little bit about yourself and what you do. Sure. So my name is Dr. Colton King. I'm a doctor of chiropractic. I've been practicing Bikram Yoga for five years. I started Bikram Yoga when I started chiropractic school and I've learned a lot about the human body from both of the practices. Bikram Yoga has taught me a lot about the human body and how it functions and chiropractic has also taught me a lot about how the human body functions. Uh, I've been practicing for almost two years. December 17th will be two years. Oh, right on. Yeah, right. Congratulations. So right, right around the corner. That's so. huge, man. Two yeah. years. Good for Appreciate you. Appreciate it. Yeah. So first, why don't you talk to us a little bit about what the spine actually does in the body, right? Let's just start from the basics. What is the spine and what is it? What purpose does it serve? Yeah. So the spine has a few functions. The first is protection of your spinal cord. Your central nervous system is comprised of two things, your brain and your spinal cord. And so the spine houses one part of the central nervous system and that is your, your spinal cord. All information coming into your body and going back out is dictated uh, via your spinal cord and your brain. So those are the highway centers for all communication within your body. So everything that you do comes from those two things. Your spine also is a base of where all other bones really come from. It's where all other things attach. So your pelvis, your shoulders, your scapula, uh, your skull, everything is coming outward from your spine. Perfect. Wow, man. It's important. It's important <laughs> part of the body. Yeah. Uh, what are the movements of the spine mm -hmm. and how does that relate to the practice that we do here in Bikram Yoga? Yeah. There are three planes of motion. There is forwards and backwards. That is called sagittal. There is lateral flexion, side to side, that is called the coronal plane, and then there is rotation. Uh, that is called the transverse plane. And so Bikram Yoga, it has 26 postures, and it really focuses on all of those three planes of motion in a very intelligent and uh, well thought out manner. He always couples you know, a forward movement with an extension movement. And he also has uh, three rotational movements within the practice, so you're getting healthy spinal movement in an intelligent manner when you are practicing Bikram Yoga. Um, joint function can change over time mm -hmm. and can you tell me a little bit about what impact that might have in the body? Yeah, sure. So the saying that I like to use is form follows function. Oftentimes a lot of people sit all day long typing at a computer and those people will usually have shoulders that are rounded forward, their, their back is hunched over and if they are not taking the time to reverse or counter those forward movements with let's say extension movements, then they will lose some ability or a lot of their ability to be able to go into an extension. So the phrase use it or lose it, it's not only for your muscle, it's also for your joint health. If those joints are not taking through healthy ranges of motion regularly, you will lose those over time and it is likely that the loss of motion will exponentially increase as you age if you do not take the time to practice daily joint mechanics. How does aging influence this change in functionality? As we age, if we don't take the time to move daily and to especially move consciously and to do that daily, then we will lose function, we will lose range of motion, we will lose muscle mass and bone density. So we have to be proactive every single day as best we can to counter those effects of aging. You may have heard of degenerative disc disease. Your discs can actually get smaller and degenerate over time if our spine and our body doesn't have regular and healthy movement. Now, degeneration that you lose can be very hard to get back if you wait too long to address the problem. That's why prevention is a lot easier than rehabilitation or to fix a problem. Now, you can't prevent all injuries, but you can do your best to prevent them from happening. And so anytime 
joint function is lost because of degeneration. Well, let's just use my shoulder as an example. This is called external rotation. Now, if I don't regularly take my shoulder through external rotation, I may only be able to get to here instead of being able to go here. Now, over time, say for example, I fall and my shoulder goes beyond my external rotation uh, capacity, then it is likely that I'm going to get injured because my joint doesn't have the ability to go into that range of motion. That is degeneration, and that's why we need to regularly exercise our joint mechanics. Now, if we say have a loss of functionality because of lack of movement, just a natural aging process, um, is there something that can be done to regain some of that movement? Or Yeah, absolutely. You can regain lost movement, but the only way is consistency over time, and it has to be done intelligently, right? We can't expect to regain joint mechanics with one day of doing yoga or one day of exercise. It has to be done consistently, regularly, and done well in order to regain lost mechanics back. You may not be able to gain everything back. That, you know, that does happen, unfortunately, but you can regain certain amounts or if not all of joint mechanics back. Yeah, perfect. Mm -hmm. All right, well, Dr. King, that was awesome, man. Thanks yeah. a lot for coming on and joining us. Thanks for having me. Uh, I'm going to link all of his information down below. If you want to give him a follow on social media and can keep up what he's doing, it's some good stuff. And uh, we hope to see you back here very soon. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, Appreciate again. it. So that's it for me guys. I hope you liked this video and you found it useful. You learned how to keep that spine nice and healthy. As always, if you have not yet subscribed to this channel, please do that. If you liked the video, hit that like button. And of course, I hope to see you in the next video. Remember, be cool, stay hot, namaste.